Good morning, Potato Heads. It is Tuesday, November 15th, and maybe you could tell by my attire, but we are still up north. We spent the last few days painting the bus. I got lots of video from that. I wanted to keep it similar and as much as possible. Um, so the big change that we made was really we uh, got rid of the rainbow. I don't know, we were talking about it and we just decided that two dudes living out of a bus, driving through the south, with a rainbow on the side of our bus, which just wasn't a good idea, I don't think. What I wanted to talk about today are setbacks. When you're ever trying to do something and it's a big project that consumes so much of your time, you just want everything to go smoothly and you want everything to go perfect. And that's never usually the case. You're usually never gonna have something go exactly perfectly the way you want it to go. We were actually supposed to be in Virginia Beach this morning we were planning on driving south yesterday. Uh, the last thing we had to do before we left town was get the bus inspected, and it actually failed inspection. And we had to take it to a place to get our brake caliper removed and replaced. We had to get a new brake caliper because we were leaking brake fluid. Uh, the repair wasn't too bad, and now we're not leaking brake fluid anymore, so that's some really good news. But sometimes your setbacks aren't always that simple. It's not always just like, oh, okay, well, here's a minor setback that set us back a little bit. Sometimes they're more severe. What I want you to do, if you're watching this video right now, if you can hear my voice, I want you to sit in a room by yourself with no distractions and meditate if you have to, but think about what is really important to you. Think about, above all, if you could stop what you're doing and just pursue the one thing that makes you, you, what is that thing? This is America. You can do whatever the heck you want. If you want to live out of a giant bus, you can do that. Lots of people are doing that. I've seen videos all over Facebook of people converting buses into tiny homes and all my friends are sharing these videos going, that's what I want. That's my dream. And I'm like, join the club. You know, maybe you've always wanted to study and, and make an instrument, or maybe you've always wanted to start your own clothing line. And if the answer is to be a musician, go be a musician. You know, in, in extreme cases, I'm not saying follow me, don't quit your job and do it, but it, are you really doing everything you can to be the best at whatever you want to do? There are going to be setbacks, you know, You're, nothing is going to go as smoothly as you want to. This is something that I've had a hard, really hard time with coping with for the past few weeks. It seems like I've been in limbo, you know? We have this bus, our whole point is to travel the world, yet we've been stuck in the same place for weeks. It's weird. I'm talking to you right now. Think about what is really important to you and go out and do it. There's going to be setbacks. You're going to have negativities. There's going to be doubt. But when you can sit there and go, you know what? I'm doing everything I can possibly do to achieve the goal that I really want. Everything's going to be great for you. I got a little preachy with this video and hopefully it's not too redundant with the other videos, but I'm excited. We're finally getting out of Dodge. We're finally going. We've got our bus painted. We got our solar situation set up. We passed inspection. <laughs> We're not leaking fluids anymore. Yeah, I know that there's going to be other setbacks. I'm not under the illusion that everything's going to be la la land from here till Florida and back. But I'm okay with that. I understand everything that comes with it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And today's video shout out actually goes out to your local auto repairman. Because at some point he sat there, he or she sat there and thought about what they really wanted to do and they really wanted to work on cars. So today's non-rhetorical question is, what is that thing? What is your vice? What is your muse? What is your thing that above all makes you want to pursue it until the end? Until you can sit back and be content with the home you made, or the lifestyle you've created, or the bus that you renovated. <laughs> See you next time.